What's up YouTube Fragrance family and friends? Tommy with Studio Sense here with another video review. And today we're gonna to be talking about five flankers of an iconic fragrance. In the early 2000s, shopping malls were extremely popular and you couldn't walk into one and go to where they sell clothes without smelling a particular fragrance. And you know the one that I'm talking about. I think it was around 2002 when it was first released. It was Fierce by Abercrombie & Fitch. Whether you were of high school age, college age, and even beyond, Fierce was and is part of many men's fragrance journey. I know. I I wore it, a lot of my friends wore it, but how's it holding up today? And what about the Fierce Flankers? When we come back, we're gonna talk about five Fierce Flankers. One of them was just recently released, 2021. That and more, so stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. Fierce is Abercrombie and Fitch's flagship fragrance. It's still around, but what about its flankers? That's what we're gonna talk about today. I'm not really gonna go through them in chronological order. However, I am going to go through them in the order in which you would find them on the Abercrombie and Fitch website. I'll show you a, a clip of it here. The first fragrance that's gonna come up is the one that was most recently released, and that is Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce Night. Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce Night is the latest Fierce Flanker. It was just released 2021 this year. Now Fierce has gone through reformulation, no doubt has gone through some packaging changes. That was the bottle that I bought back in the day. I think I got a 50 mil bottle. That was the photo or torso that you saw anytime you purchased whatever size bottle of Fierce. That bottle now you can still buy with the same graphic. However, it's called Fierce Vintage Edition. And these bottles here, which are just the basic square bottles, there's really not a lot to them. That's the new packaging. Uh, although they did use this back in the, the early 2000s as well. I'm not sure why they went through some iteration change, but finally they kind of gone full circle and come back to these basic square bottles. I like them. They're very, there's no bells and whistles. They're very utilitarian. The caps are neither magnetic nor pressurize they snap into place there's a little there's a bit of pressure when you first put them on but when you push them all the way down you'll hear a very hearty snap and you know it's in place and you can actually hold it up by the lid it's not going to fall or anything now what about the latest version of fierce called fierce night the dark bottle of course giving you the idea you can still see through it when there's light in front of it uh, you can see the juice in there, but it is the date night or nighttime or date night staple of the Fierce DNA. The basic note breakdown of Fierce Night is bergamot, lavender, there's woods, there's herbs, and musk. There's definitely going to be more than that in here, but that's basically all that they published with night. Now, my opinion of night is that it happens to be one of the better fierce flankers. You get that fierce DNA right away. All of these smell like fierce, just derivations of it, right? Night, though, is a lightly sweet, and in the background, that lavender kind of reminds me a little bit of La Mal by Jean-Paul Gaultier. It's got a, a, almost a light bubble gum. It doesn't smell at all like an Invictus clone or like it's related to Invictus at all. It has that nice, sharp, penetrating, fierce DNA, you know, that rosemary, but it's just a really darker, heavier, muskier. It's definitely got that same youthful vibe to it. It's very youthful, very energetic. Those go hand in hand. It's a powerfully projecting fragrance. I would say it's less sexy than it is kind of charismatic. In terms of heavy, dark, and weighty fragrances, it's somewhere in at a middle distance. It rides that fine line, and as a date night fragrance, I think it's really good. One of the best fierce flankers are the ones that we're going to talk about, so if you're looking for a good, youthful, invigorating, spicy, penetrating date night fragrance, Fierce Night might be the one for you. Just like all of these, it's going to be $84 off their website. You can't find it really anywhere else cheaper. Um, you might be able to. I would look at discounters first, but 84 bucks for a 100 ml bottle, and this is what you get. Now, if you're at all interested in the box, you've got silver lettering with a dark midnight blue background, really thin line stripe, like a striped suit look about them, which makes them look really cool. So the boxes are pretty nice as well. Very heavy duty, very well made. The next Fierce Flanker that you'll run into when you scroll up on the website is Fierce Confidence. 
Fierce Confidence came out, I think, in 2014. So I have to say that Fierce Confidence isn't my favorite Fierce Flanker. It smells good, but for some reason it, it, it smells, it also smells like it's kind of running into itself a bit. Like it doesn't know which direction it wants to go. I just don't really care for that DNA. Fierce Confidence features white amber, citrus notes, there's pineapple, elemi resin, pear, cardamom, lavender, iris, musk. I mean, there's a ton of notes. It's a positive aspect in some because you're getting a lot in one in a single fragrance but it also kind of muddles the Fierce DNA a bit. Abercrombie & Fitch released a Fierce flanker called Fierce Intense. Fierce Confidence has that same vibe. It's just kind of a very clean, showery, soapy smell. The highlight in this fragrance is a combination of florals with citrus. Basically, there's pear, pineapple, orange with um, iris and some elemi resins in there. So you're getting a really bright, fruity, juicy, fierce that might not work for some people. Again, it's very similar to Fierce Intense. The only problem that some might have with this is that Fierce was never intended to be a fruity, juicy, freshy. One aspect that I do like about it, it has a little bit of iris that you can catch in the background here and there. You'll catch a nuance of it throughout your day as you're moving around, as you're wearing it. It's not my favorite Fierce Flanker. It's somewhere around the middle. And if you're interested in the box, this is what the box looks like. You've got red on the front and back and white lettering. Our next Fierce Flanker we're gonna feature is Fierce Blue, the blue or aquatic version of Fierce. I actually happen to like this really well because they didn't go and try to do something super complicated. They literally took the Fierce DNA and they added some aroma chemicals. Now I will say about this fragrance and all of the Fierce Flankers, if you have any kind of frame of reference in terms of fragrance that's broader than fragrances that you can buy at your local mall, then you've already got a good handle on how synthetic some of these smell. However, I don't think that synthetic is, is always bad. They carry bad connotations because people use them to describe a bad aspect that smells very synthetic. And you think, oh, okay, it doesn't smell good, but synthetic can smell exactly like what it's imitating or mimicking. Fierce Blue came out in 2016. It features an aroma chemical called Sea Breeze. I love the smell of Sea Breeze. It's very marine, very aquatic. It's got white amber and lavender. So lavender speaks loudly in this one, and that's what gives it its blue feeling, blue sensation on top of the marine and the aquatic. Not a lot to be said about Fierce Blue. It's very pleasant. Typically when you spray a Freshie on, you expect to spray like four or five hours later to be able to spray it on again. This is like that, however, it's much more penetrating and it lasts a lot longer. So Fierce Blue has really good, I would say medium longevity. I would say a good six to seven hours in longevity and a good three foot radius in terms of your sillage trail. It's actually a really good flanker. If you like Fierce and you like aquatic fragrances, this is a really good marriage of the two. Our next Fierce fragrance is perhaps my favorite of them all simply because it's the Fierce DNA kind of matured a little bit and thrown into a whiskey barrel. Of course, I'm talking about Fierce Reserve. Fierce Reserve, of course, another limited edition, just like most of these, is a extremely, it's very sweet, it's very woody, I would say spicy, sweet, woody, uh, oriental fragrance. You're looking at wild sage, aged leather, there's whiskey, and of course amber in the base. Fantastic combination. Probably my favorite combination of, of notes in terms of the Fierce DNA is in Fierce Reserve. It is everything that you would want it to be except long-lasting. <laughs> That's the only complaint that I have with Fierce Reserve. Very strong, very powerful, very it projects really well, but it doesn't last a tremendous amount of time on my skin. Uh, I wanted to get a good eight to 10 hours out of it and I'm getting about five to six hours out of it. But that again, that could be my experience. Totally fine with that being just my experience. Fierce Reserve is an excellent transitional or fall fragrance. So this is the perfect time of year to, to get it out or to purchase it and to wear it. And if you, again, if you like the Fierce DNA, it carries that very well through it, but it just adds a few years to it, ages it up in a very mature, still very sexy, very modern. In a lot of ways, you would expect Fierce to smell like a dated fragrance, being that it came out in 2002. These flankers just add more of a modern complexity and spin to that fragrance DNA. It smells even more new and, and fresh in these flankers. 
If you scroll up, the last Fierce Flanker that you'll run into is the last one we're going to talk about today in this video. It is Fierce Oud Amor. I like Oud Amor. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Chopard Oud Malachi. Of course, Fierce, the DNA, that's not going to change. It's very youthful and it maintains its relevance. I think there were three perfumers involved in the creation of Fierce and they created it so that it would remain timeless. It would never smell dated or old and I think they did it successfully. Fierce Oud Amour, you would think that it would smell like a darker Oudy. Uh, there's there's literally no Oud smell to, to Oud Amour. It does smell quite synthetic. Um, I actually like it a lot. So this sounds like I'm, I'm being negative about it, but the reality of this, if you're interested in smelling it or if you're interested in owning it, it's, it's not Oud. It doesn't smell like Oud. Supposedly it contains black Oud. It also contains black pepper, orange flower, amber, and again, black Oud in the base. I get the direction that they're going because Fierce is all about mass appealing. Not going to be anything challenging in this fragrance. If you're worried by the word Oud in Oud Amour, don't, don't be at all. Again, it's similar to Oud Malachi. It smells more like that it's related to Paco Rabanne, the 1 million, 1 million lucky, 1 million privé without the spice. It has about two thirds the sweetness that Paco Rabanne fragrances do, uh, but it doesn't have the spice in there. Primarily you're getting woods there and you're getting a little bit of a synthetic oud. That's not a real oud. So it's, it's woody. I uh, wouldn't call it spicy. It's woody. It's sweet. It's accessible. It's fierce. Um, it's just the uh, holiday version of fierce. If you like anything about that description, you'll definitely like this fragrance. It is very compliment pulling and head turning people will like the smell of this but this one lasts forever on me it lasts a good 10 hours on me so it's got great longevity the uh, the projection is there for the first two hours and then it kind of dials back quite a bit but i can i can smell it on me hours and hours later at the end of the day when i sprayed it on in the morning well guys that's it for my brief coverage overview and buyer's guide of fierce and its flankers uh, I didn't want to talk about Fierce itself uh, or Fierce the Clone, Fierce the Perfume, whatever. You already know what it smells like. I wanted to just mainly focus on its flankers and give you an idea of what you're looking at if you're interested in purchasing any of these. You can get them off the Abercrombie and Fitch website. They're all 84 bucks a piece. At this point in my fragrance journey, I'm not a huge fan of Fierce. I think it's okay, but I do actually like some of these flankers relatively well. My favorite is Fierce Reserve. Um, I do like Fierce Night. I think it's a great release for 2021 with the Fierce DNA. Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out today's video and buyer's guide. As always, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you tomorrow.